Hello everyone, I'm Shahnaz. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I'll be telling you that how you can insert data in Postgres. And in the previous video, I've shown you that how to insert tables with constraints and without constraints in Postgres. I hope you have watched the video. And if you haven't watched the video, then go and watch the video. It is in the i button. So yeah. So let's uh, talk about how to insert data in uh, Postgres SQL. So for inserting the data, you, you just need to execute this SQL query. This is very much simple. This is pretty much simple. That is insert, then into, and then the table name, just as in case like user, right? The table name can be user. And then in the columns, you should write the first name, the last name, the actually the column name of the table you should write. For my case, it is uh, name, first name, last name, email, uh, not email, uh, date of birth, gender, and everything like that. And then you uh, you should like close the bracket and then give values then value one value two value three but you have to like be careful in that that column one should have the value uh according to it like if, if you are entering the first name then in value section you should write the first name first like it, it would be in the chronological order like column one then the value of the column one column two the value of the column two right if you are writing uh, column two first and then column one, then the value should be right that as well, like value two and then value one. I hope you guys got me. So this is the basic SQL query which you are looking at. And now, if I if I want to give you an example, then the example would look like this: like the insert into the table name would be replaced by user, and the column one to column in will be replaced by first name, last name, and gender, and then values, and then the values will be replaced by value one, value two, value n will be replaced by cyan not main so this is the basic uh postgres insert query so this is the basic thing now you can see that uh, we have a table of id uh, column name as id first name last name gender and date of birth and you can all see the data type of that as well i have taught the data type as well in the previous videos if you haven't watched that go and watch that it would be super beneficial so this is the thing right so now i'll be telling you that how you can like uh, insert data so let's jump into the data grip so this is the data grip so this is the last uh, sql query which we executed that how to create a table uh, using uh, sorry of lend so let's delete it and let's execute one query let's keep the caps lock on and then insert into right and then you need to write the table name after writing the table name i can use the autocomplete feature but i am not using the autocomplete feature so first i will write id then i will write first name then last name then gender then date of birth right it's like this and then after writing this after filling all the columns out i will write the values so values like this and then I would giving the values one by one is uh, for id it's one for first name it's cyan then so the next name it's uh not then the, the last name and for the gender i would like male sorry for the hashtag and then for the date of birth it's 2000 like 19 july 2000 so i would like in this format so this is a pretty standard format and this is how it goes so let's reformat the code and let's show it to you that insert which i told you then into then user and then the column names as you can see and then values and then the values value one value two value three value four so like that now we will actually execute this query like hit insert and it got executed you, you can see one row affected in 89 ms so now let's jump back to the superbase uh, thing and then le let's hit refresh and you can see that the column will be get executed like it will be getting visible like this you can see one sign up mail and the date of birth like this you can uh, like uh, fill another one just for example let's take uh, whose example should i take uh, let's take uh, neymar for example id should be two Neymar da Silva, it's male and then uh, his body is 1992 year and it's February 02 and 05. Yeah, I hope I am right. So then execute it. 
yeah then it's executed one row affected in 70 milliseconds now if i hit refresh you can see the column is executed yeah you can see the second column is also executed let's also like uh, create a column for a female person uh, let's give her annie smith just for sake annie silva just then female then it's 1990 let's make it 1990 and let's make it march 31st march it's my one of my best friend's body so let's keep it then uh, insert it insert into oh i got an error let's see uh, what error we got oh sorry we did uh, a very pretty much mistake we didn't change the id so i will change the id because ID is the primary key as I've said the ID is a primary key so primary key cannot have duplicate values so if I'm creating a column the second column as third column as two then it will be giving an error which it's clearly given so I'd be changing it into three and then I'd be executing it and you can see one row affected in 70 milliseconds so it is created let's go into the table and show it to you guys that yeah it's created the annie silva female and the id is three and the date of birth is 1990 31st march so it's pretty much clear i hope uh, it's pretty much clear and next video i'll be telling you that how you can uh, get the data using sql query so stay tuned for that and uh, videos are coming up regularly i hope you guys are enjoying and if you have anything to say about it then you can say in the comments or you can reach out to me on social media the link are in the description as well as if you want to join our telegram channel where i'll be sharing the content as well as some resources you can surely join the link is in the description now i'd like to talk about newton school so newton school is an edtech startup who offer Full stack development course for free to the students they can take up the course they can learn and complete it and they also get many mock interviews and other stuff the course is de designed in such a way that you get a job that you'll be getting a job around 5 lakhs lpa to 40 lakh lpa and after getting the job you will be able to repay the money you have to repay the money after getting the job so this is like that and uh, this is a very good opportunity created by newton school so i hope you guys uh, visit the link in the description i have given the link so yeah till then this much uh, for this video let's meet in the next one bye bye